finally come. I am sure that you have already attended the PC from Vikram Khan, and as Honorable CDC has announced the schedule of our parliamentary elections, our state Goa is in phase three. So as per the schedule, we have our date of poll on 7th May 2024, which is Tuesday. The date of counting is same, 4th June 2024, Tuesday. So as per the given schedule, the issue of uh, date of issue of budget notification is 12th April. Uh, last date for making nominations is 19th April, Friday. And for the scrutiny on 20th April and the drawing last date is 22nd April. So the important dates are like this. The most important date is date of poll, which is 7th May 2024. Uh, <clears throat> as per these friends, I want to tell you about our preparations that uh, we are fully ready from our side. Our e roll we have done our final publication on 5th January 2024. Further updation has been going on. And we have this time 11,66,000. 939 voters on 5th January, which is further updated and in today's audition, the number has been changed and it is like uh, 11,072,877 until yesterday. So North Goa total male female gender per gender we have 5,77,931 voters whereas in South Goa we have 5,94,956 total electors so this year we have done a lot of uh, exercises as per the directions given by the election commission of India and we are happy to inform you that this time we have added more than 25,149 new voters. These are all in 18 plus category. These are all new voters, first time voters. And we are trying our best to involve each person who is added in this list to cast their vote on our uh, polling stations on the date of announce, uh, which is this 7th May. We are fully prepared with our all polling stations 1725 polling stations we have, 863 in North Goa and 862 in South Goa. So in our total we have 1725. Friends, we want to tell you that 218 model polling stations we are proposing with different categories. We have model polling stations, green polling stations, eco-friendly polling stations, polling stations which are fully managed by women officials, polling stations which are properly managed by our PWD plants, polling stations which are managed by our youth officials. So there are different categories and we are trying our best to put 100% EMF facilities, these assured minimum facilities of drinking water, toilet facilities, RAM, and any other facility which is registered by our election commission. I am sure that we, uh, with the support of our full, for the DO teams, we will be able to provide 100% AMR facilities at our polling stations. Uh, as per each cohort, which is available today, in today's condition, our total electors is 11,73,028 voters in which we have 18 to 19 means the first time voters is 2.15% which was earlier only 1 below 1.2% 1. 1. Uh, and so this is the detail our both the returning officers are there in the field our SST teams, FST teams are active from today only the defacement directions we have already passed to our teams in the field so our teams will start functioning from today. I think uh, they are already in the field. I have just talked about the DOs also. And uh, control rooms are already set up. Total 16, 7 in North Goa, 8 in South Goa, and 1 integrated control room in our senior office. Flying sport teams, we have 38 flying sports, 21 in North Goa, 17 in South Goa. 
Static surveillance teams 29 surveilled in North Goa and 12 in South Goa. The criticality and vulnerability is under process, so very soon we can provide you the details once uh, this will be the finalized. Friends, uh, we have already done our exercises for our training purpose. All the sector officers, sector police officers were fully trained. All the polling teams we have are fully trained now and the training process are still going on. All ERO's, ERO's, they are under one training. Various IT apps which are now with us, especially VHA, Water Helpline app, Know Your Candidates, and CVZ, especially this citizen vigilance. This is very, very important, and this time we have the timeline of 20 minutes we have to respond, and within 100 minutes, first 100 minutes, we have to resolve every complaint. So this time we are uh, fully sure and with our team's performance in the past elections also we will show that every complaint which we receive from public either through in person or through mobile, whatsapp in any channel which we receive from them we will complete their complaints in the sure timeline which has been given to us by our election commission So this is as much our preparation is and uh, the counting centers are already identified, the process is going on. We have already given the complete information on our, all our preparations. The basic uh, important features regarding our law and order maintenance, our in Inspector General of Goa is in the state. It's not an officer, he is actually involved with all the operations. 14 companies we have already demanded, two companies are already here. They are doing their field march in all the districts. And as uh, our Honorable Commissioner, uh, Honorable CEC sir has mentioned about the 4RM, this is muscle power, money power, misinformation and MC evolution, MCC evolutions. We are definitely following all the directions in this regard to tackle any type of muscle power or money power. And luckily in Goa, we don't have first category this muscle power issues at all. Money power definitely we will tackle and we will show with our teams actively working in the field coordination group of the district election officials. Ensure each day we will raise our efforts and with the new software. Uh, which has been given to us, ESMS. This is election season management software. Uh, we will try our best to ensure each and every season as possible with our efforts. Any type of MCC violations, we will tackle very strictly as per the MCC guidelines. And we have now timeline and a one and a half month. So in that one and a half month, we will activate our complete team in the field and ensure free fair and inducement free elections in Goa as the culture here in our state. So how many sensitive in, uh, poll cases uh, are listed? Uh, expenditure sensitive we don't have any here till now. Uh, this vulnerability mapping is going on like which uh, I have already inform you that in 2019 we have 46 total level polling stations. The exact figure we will give you as soon as the process will complete. How many voters are above age group of 25? But they have the option to vote from home. See as per our age cohort.